This episode of Android Authority is brought to you by Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash authority for a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. You ask, we answer. It's Android Authority Q&A for June 26, 2013. Ryan asks, when is the HTC Butterfly S release date? And will it be coming to any U.S. carriers? To answer the first question, the Butterfly S will be released in some markets in Asia sometime in July. For the U.S., well, we don't know yet. A, we don't know if the Butterfly S will be coming to the U.S. at all, and B, we don't know if, like the HTC Droid DNA, it'll show up with a different name and a slightly different setup. Gabriel asks, Will the Sony Xperia Z come to more carriers than just T-Mobile? Well, so far the only confirmed carrier is T-Mobile. Whether or not it comes to other carriers will probably depend a lot on how popular it is. If it starts selling really well, you can be sure another carrier will probably pick it up at some point. But who will pick it up is another story. Another GSM carrier is probably your best bet, as then Sony wouldn't have to do any extra work like it would with a CDMA carrier like Verizon or Sprint. Kanan asks, Will the Samsung Galaxy S5 be released with a flexible OLED display in the near future? Well, right now, the only answer we can give is maybe. Samsung did show off a phone with a flexible display at CES 2013, and LG has said they have a phone with a flexible display coming later this year. Whether or not they'll actually meet these projections and ship the displays on time is another thing entirely. So basically, it really depends on what your definition of near future is. Emilio asks, How can I have something like HTC Blink Feed on my Galaxy S3? While it's not exactly like Blinkfeed, there is an app called Soho in the Google Play Store that does something pretty similar. It pulls data from various social networking services and puts them on your home stream. The rating in the Play Store is only 3.8 stars, so it seems like people either love it or hate it, but hey, it's free, so it's worth a try. Marty says, I live in a rural area and use Verizon. Once the HTC One is released on Verizon, which phone will have better reception, the HTC One or the Samsung Galaxy S4. That should actually be a tie. See, both phones use the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 chipset, which in addition to providing the CPU and GPU, also provides the cellular radios for both phones. While differences in body design and antenna design can change the characteristics, neither of these should affect the phone so much that it should be a deal breaker for either phone. Basically, just pick which one you like best. Rwand asks, Is there a way to connect both a keyboard and a mouse to an Android device? I've already tried a USB on the Go cable, but it has only one slot, so I can only connect one thing at a time. Why, yes, there actually is a way, and it's pretty easy. All you need is a USB hub, and to be safe, you'll want to go for a powered one. Then you can plug in as many devices as the hub has ports, and you should be good to go. And that's about it for this week, folks. We have a written companion to this video that has all the links and everything you might need at AndroidAuthority.com. You can find the link in the description. Now, remember, this show is powered by your questions, so keep them coming. You can find a link to the submission form for your questions in the description as well. While you're at it, make sure to check out our other weekly show, Android Authority Weekly, which goes up every Sunday. I'm Chris Wook, and as always, thanks for watching.